Hi guys, today in this session, I'll be demonstrating how to use general transformation and rank transformation. At the end of this session, I'll be showing some performance improvement tips. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's the mapping we are going to create for this demonstration. For this demonstration, I'll be building a mapping which joins data from two data sources, orders and products, and then I'll be finding the top performing products from that data. Okay, here I'll be using the data sources, orders, and products. Then I'll be loading the data to TGT product revenue X, that's the relation table, and I'll be using a transformation joiner, rank, and aggregator. Now let's go ahead and start building our mapping. Okay, here I have already imported the source definition. If you want to see the detailed steps for importing the source definition, you can go ahead and see my previous video. And in the same way, I have already imported the target definition. Please visit my previous video for the details of for creating the target definition. And I have already started building the mapping. Here you can see that the orders table and the product table have been created in the mapping designer. Okay. The next step for us will be to join the data from these two tables. Okay. For that, we'll be using the transformation called join transformation. Okay. If you need to combine data from two tables in SQL, you'll be using the join operation where you can combine the data between the tables using their relationship. Okay, there you can use the EP join, left outer join, right outer join, or a full outer join to combine the data. In the same way, you can use the join transformation here to combine the data from two different data sources. Okay, let's go ahead and create the join transformation. Now let's take the columns to the join transformation. I have pulled the columns which is required from the orders table and the product table to the joiner. Okay. Let's open and see what the properties. Okay. I am going to rename the transformation. Let's go to the port tab. Here you can see the port name, data type, precision, scale, and input port, output port. And here you can see a new port called a master or detail port. Okay. In terms of SQL terminology, we'll be referring the product table as the parent table and the order table as the sale table. But in terms of informatica, we'll be referring the product table as the master table and the order table as detail table. Okay. And here we have the product table as our master table. So I'm going to set the product table as master by checking these ports. Okay. Now let's go to the properties tab and set the type of join we are doing here okay if you click on this drop down list you can see we can have the normal join that's if we join master outer join that is left outer join detail outer join that's right outer join and full outer join here we are going to do a normal join or a if join okay now let's go to the condition tab and set the join condition for that click on the add button and choose the item number from the uh, master table that's a product table and the item number from the order table okay and with that we have given all the properties required for the join transformation click on apply and okay so the next step will be to find out the total revenue per item okay for that we'll be using the transformation called aggregator I'm going to go through these steps uh, pretty quickly. If you need to have the detailed steps, please go to my previous video. Okay, I have created the aggregator uh, which finds out the total revenue and total quantity. Okay, the next step for us will be to identify the top 10 revenue generating products. Okay, for that we'll be using the transformation rank. Let's go ahead and create the rank transformation. Now choose all the columns in the aggregator to the rank transformation. Do a double click, open the transformation for the edit mode, give a name. Okay, and go to the port tab. You can see the port name, data type, precision, scale, input port, output port, variable port, and you have a new port called the rank port. 
this is the pod based on which you are you are doing the ranking for the record. So since we need to find the uh, top 10 products based on the total revenue, I'll be doing the ranking on revenue. Okay. Here we can see a group by pod. With a group by pod, you'll be able to group the records together and find out the ranking within it. For example, if you need to find out the ranking within a product category, we can do a group by on product category. But we don't need to have a grouping here. I'm going to uncheck all the group by from here. Okay. So now let's go to the properties tab and say that we need to find out the top 10 product. And if you need to find out the bottom 10, you can choose that from here. Okay. Now let's go to the ports tab. So here you can see a default port rank index and you can see that it's a output only port. Okay. So using this port, you'll be able to get the rank of each record. Okay. Click on apply and okay. The last step what we have is to join the column from the rank transformation to the target. Okay. With that, I have connected the target. Do a right click, arrange all. Okay. Here in this mapping, I am pulling data from the orders table and the product table and comparing the two data sources using the donor transformation and then using the aggregator transformation. I am finding the total revenue. Then using the rank transformation, I am finding out the top 10 revenue generating products then then the data is loaded to the relational table do a validate mapping is valid now go to repository and save okay mapping is saved and valid now we are ready to start building our workflow for that go to the workflow manager okay so there is not any specific uh, properties to be given for the joiner and the rank at the session level. So I have created the session and workflow myself. If, if you need to see the detailed steps for creating your workflow, please go and visit my previous video. Okay. So now we can start and run the workflow. You can see the workflow is started. Let's go and see the status in the workflow monitor. Okay, its workflow started and succeeded and you can see that it has read 20 records from the orders table and 11 records from the products table and it has written the top 10 records to the target table. Let's go and see what's there in the target table. Okay, by the query, here yeah, you can see that the 10 records have been loaded to the target table TGT product revenue is. Okay, now it's time for the performance improvement tip. Okay, for the joiner transformation to get a better performance, so make sure that you are passing the data as a sorted input. Okay, and once you have a sorted input, make sure that you have the sorted input property is set. Okay, when you are giving the sorted input to the transformation, it will be if make the join between the master table and the detail table. One other thing you can do, do to get a better performance is to make sure that you are setting the smaller table as master table. The reason why you can do that is master table is the one which, is, which will be cached by the joiner transformation. Okay. So if you make a smaller table for caching, it, it can give a better performance. Okay. For the aggregator also, you need to make sure that the inputs are passed as a sorted input. Okay. And you can you need to set the property of the sorted input as set. Okay. And you need to make sure that the sorted input is in the same order of the group by pod. Okay. So with that you'll be able to get a better performance for the aggregator. Okay. That's all guys for this video. Please let me know your questions and feedbacks on this video. In my next session, I'll be covering about the reusable transformations and map rights. Please go to my Facebook page, you will be able to get a complete list of training session, training manual, lab guide, 
and much more information just for the fans. Thank you once again. See you again for the next video. Bye bye.